Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center is a not-for-profit hospital. With over 1 million patient encounters from 40 countries each year, managing those patients and still maintaining the highest reputation and safety is no small task. Seven years ago when we first began our work on flow and capacity management, we realized as a quaternary care hospital that our ability to deliver ideal care was going to be closely linked to our ability to have the right resources available for the patient at the right time. Two years ago, we would have been really struggling if we had 360 patients, but today we can accommodate 428 patients with no new buildings, um, and isn't that spectacular, and I, it's, it's all due to the flow team. As a result of working on flow, we were able to increase our ability to use the exact same assets from 75% of their capability to closer to 90% of their capability. And we did that through the things that you would think of, how to place patients. We identified those areas where bottlenecks and delays occurred and went to work on the processes in those areas that they would not become the limiting factor for a patient moving through our system more efficiently and effectively. So we began with the operating room and found that by following simple operations research principles, we could increase the productivity in the operating room, reduce the wait time, and most importantly, make sure that the kids that needed urgent care got it. So by matching demand and supply, by predicting the capacity, by understanding where our waste was, we were able to increase, I think, operation room productivity somewhere in the neighborhood of 7 to 10 percent with no new buildings and no new facilities. This success spurred the flow team to spread these principles across the organization, each unit focusing on anticipating rather than reacting. So we've been working on patient flow here on ASIC South for many years. Um, so what we're doing right now is we're predicting patients for discharge. We, current, we previously were at 45% predicting, now we're at 90%. This really impacts um, children, Cincinnati Children's Hospital um, on a housewide basis because if we accurately predict patients, they're able to better place patients on the correct floor and that helps with the overall flow of the hospital. It quickly became clear that efficiency in one unit has a knock-on effect throughout the hospital. So bed huddles were introduced. Bed huddles give us a plan. They give us the opportunity to put everybody in the same room, to have all of our data in front of us, and to look at who's coming, who's going, where we have capacity and where we don't. We worked really hard with a lot of data and a lot of time to figure out a calculation whereby we can come up with the number of patients we're going to get who are unscheduled. And we have found to be we are actually more accurate with the number of patients who are unscheduled than the number who are scheduled. And a key factor in achieving this has been simulation modeling. We use simulation modeling to analyze our elective surgical flow into the intensive care unit. And by modeling this flow, we were able to predict what number of cases could be done on a daily basis that would allow us to continually run the ICU at an ideal state. This work has allowed us now to go over 21 months without having to cancel a single case in the operating room due to ICU bed availability, and we've gone 22 months without having to overnight a patient in our recovery room because an ICU bed was not available for immediate access. Utilizing a hospital's capacity has obvious financial benefits, but is that the only driver behind this? Historically, spending money was the easy way out. The world's changed. It's not going to be that way in the future. Tackling the processes may be a little bit more difficult up front, but in the long run, it's a much better approach for patient satisfaction, for quality, and for safety at a much cheaper price. It's a win-win for everyone. Before we really started on this work, particularly in the winter, sporadically we'd run out of beds and I'd tell a family their surgery was canceled. And this might have been a family that traveled many miles to come here. Not having to do that anymore is the best part of my job. We believe that having the right patient in the right place at the right time to deliver the right resources with the right staffing and nursing care is the foundation for safe patient care. By working on this within our entire system, we believe that we're going to deliver the ideal outcomes of the future.